Hello, here, <coughs> and uh, today I will be showing you a wild private server solving thing, I guess that's what it's called, or a tutorial on how to fix an error with MySQL on a wild private server 3.3.5. And uh, I was watching this tutorial made by Crashproof Code, really good by the way, and it works and all that. But many people have said, oh, my login server does uh, shows up and then goes down again, and my MySQL server says that no, it doesn't work. And uh, so yeah. I decided to show you that uh, it works if you do it the right way. So you get your server folder, and go with the server, and start your MySQL. Well, mine works, but uh, if it doesn't work, it should say, like, um, there, if, is there already a MySQL server running or on port 3.3.06 or something like that? And to fix this, you go into this. I don't know what it's called in English, but you know what it is uh, by pressing Ctrl or Delete. And uh, you know, in programs, you can shut things down and your processes. You can shut things down, but in services, you want to go in and scroll down until you find MySQL. So, now it's there, and there it is. And uh, then you click on services, this button down here, and there. And then there should come up uh, along the walls. And you scroll down until you find MySQL, and there it is. And then you press start the service. I have start the service here. Uh, but I have to stop it because I wanted to start uh, a new. So you stop that and you go down here and you press it up again. And then you should work like this. And the problem with the, the login server that everyone had was that they thought that when you start a MySQL server, they thought that, oh, this is how it's supposed to look like. And uh, you know, when it didn't look like this. Uh, <coughs> when it wasn't working, and uh, that's when people uh, went in here and clicked on the login server, and then they just did like this. Like that. And uh, that is the problem, it's that the MySQL server doesn't work. So now when you've done this, you should be able to go into the login server, and it should look like this. I spawning for worker threads or anything I like, hooking signals and success, ready for connections. When you see that, that everything is ready. And by the way, some of you also said that world doesn't work. You have to have the login server on to work. If you look at it as a roll of time, but it doesn't work. So I just let it run here and uh, just wait. Database loaded game apps and all this. And another thing that I read was that people wanted to make their server public. And um, well, that's actually not that complicated, to be honest. Uh, <coughs> what IP you have right now is one, 127, I think it is, and that's also localhost. And that is only for this computer right here. And uh, so other people can join to that. Oh, oh and uh, this starts now. I will take that just in a minute. Uh, you see that connection fail, we'll try again in 10 seconds. That, uh, that, if you have this on, think that, oh, it's working. You try to log in, it won't work. So you have to start logon server. And you see that logon server latency is OMS. So that is actually, well, now it's done. So you can log into your server right now. But we, back to the public part. And, um, yeah, well, uh, the local host is only for this computer, and that's what you ha have in the beginning. And uh, if you want to make it public for other people, uh, you first you go to Google, that's easiest, and uh, you search in uh, and match you. Here you go, you click the first one here, log me in, and then um, you click on this connection use, and then download now. Sorry, I had to pause there for a minute. But you download this, and uh, then you install it and all that. And uh, 
and then you start the Hamachi up and you should have uh, wait a second. Um, you should have come on don't screw with me there we go you should have this so what you want to do on this is so you can put this uh, you want to go to the network and then you press create a new network uh, then you write in whatever you want blah, 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 and pass for one two three four create now the people will go into this network right here and uh, what they're going to do is this IP that you have right here is going to stand in their realm list. Uh, and your realm list is, I don't know say, if you have downloaded it, you should have it in downloaded files, and then you should go like here, and then data, I think it is, in US, scroll down. No, just kidding. Um, well, I haven't down downloaded all of mine, so I have to wait to show that. But it's in there, and you go into WTF folder, I think it is, what the fuck folder, and uh, then you click on realm list dot what the fuck, I think it is, not sure, and then you change. It should it should say set realm list to like US will work or something something. Um. And then you change all of that, not set realm list, that is supposed to be there, to this Hamachi IP. Uh, every one of you to do that, even you, that's, that's the easiest. And once you've done that, you want to go into configs, and log on, I think it is, yes. And you, see, you should see all these things in here. So, uh, yeah, like that, like that, like that. There, allowed IPs, and then you just change this this sorry this one to the how much IP that you have right here, right here, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. That's not as hard as that. And uh, if you want to do it um, without a match, that's a bit more complicated for forwarding and stuff like that. If you want me, I can show you a video video of that. Um, it's many things you have to do, but yeah, I can, think I can handle it. Anyway, so we have done that and people can log in. Uh, I don't know really what the more thing was. Yeah, many people want to know the GM commands, stuff like that. Uh, oh, uh, I should show you uh, this one too. Uh, like that. And uh, I guess you have download Navicat. Just wait a minute. Um, on. Yes. Yeah, that one. The yellow one. And uh, many people you have wondered how to do it. In the video that Crash Proof Codes shows, um, it's actually really easy. He has to have it right here. But for you who doesn't, it's supposed to look like this, I think. I think, oh, uh, how to do this? Well, it's not that hard. It's, you press on connection, then MySQL, and then you write like, wow, private server, and then you go down, and then password, uh, uh, and then OK. Now we should be done this, double click it, double click that, there, double click that, double click that, double click that. And double click that. Now you have all your tables here, which has the characters, login information, accounts, and uh, all that. To make a new account, uh, you just press plus and then write it, all that shit in there. So, yeah, that's not that hard actually. So that's pretty much it. If you want me to do another one with more problems that you have, please um, comment on this. And oh, and uh, there's one problem more. Uh, the login server, when it gets a red, like, red, like, text down here, um, I haven't actually, I got that, I have got that, like, a year ago or something like that, but, um, I've forgotten how to fix that, but if I get it again, and I have time, I will show you how to do that too, and so, yeah, thank you.